Uh, so with no further ado, I guess it's, it's time to introduce a man who is ready to take the light heavyweight world scene by storm. A man who is 16 and 0, a man that fights right here in Croydon, Joshua Buatzi. It's time. Joshua, uh, I would say welcome to Croydon, but it's probably better to say thank you for having us. Um, you will have had numerous offers, promoters, everyone after you. Why did you choose Boxer? First and foremost, thank everyone for coming out here to Croydon. Where's Dan Aziz? I just saw him. Dan, lift up your hand. We have to big up Dan, Europe's latest champion all the time. Have to big you up. Um, why Sky Sports? I think... I want everyone here to be able to sit at home and say, you know what, we're actually boxing today. If we're not going, we know what channel to turn to. Um, I'm not going to tell you to download an app, to type in your email, your bank details. Type in a TV channel and you can watch me fight. Ben, uh, nothing's ever easy in boxing. How complicated was it to get this one over the line? First of all, I'm honoured to have Joshua Buatzi. I think he's one of the most talented fighters we have in this country. If you told me 12 months ago we'd be signing Joshua Buatzi, I probably wouldn't have believed you. He's, he's at that level and it's a, it's a special day for us and honoured that, that he's chosen to sign. It's been a, it's been a long road. We, we've had to be very patient for certain signings that we want and uh, just delighted. I think this, this, this is a signing, this is a fighter that's on the brink of greatness. And he wants to be great. He wants those achievements. He feels like he's a, he's a bit of a, like a caged animal right now. He wants to be let out. He wants to have those biggest fights. And he wants to become a superstar. And, and I'm delighted that he's trusted us with that because he could have chosen anyone. The, the, the offers from the States, from over here, from every promoter, probably far more lucrative options. But this shows the ambition of this man. He wants to have the biggest fights, he wants to be seen, and he wants to, wants to achieve his, what he believes is potential and box off his potential as well. How difficult was that decision to make? Obviously, you know, nothing simple here. Um, but it seems fairly straightforward. It was and it wasn't. There's a few bits that Ben would, wouldn't budge on, but I think we came to an agreement. And like I said, the most important thing to me was people just have access to watching me. Um, I've had some fights. I think even my last fight was Spider. Hard fight, but I asked myself, how many people watched it? And I don't think a lot of people saw it. And for the blood and the sweat that I shared in that fight, it's important to me that people can watch it, that people have access to watch it. Um, like I say, go home, turn on 401 to 7, wh whichever one it is, you know where to find it. You've obviously got your eyes set on some world titles, some big fights. Are you looking at any particular routes or opponents? I think straight away I'm top three in three of the governing bodies. So it's just maneuvering myself the right way so that I can become a mandatory. So that if any of the champions say, Buetsi, let's rock, I can say no problem. Talk to my promoter, talk to my team, let's make it happen. So um, there's not a specific name, I just want to get my hands on the belt. Ben, it's just been announced that Joshua will be out May 6th in Birmingham. What more can you tell us about that card? Look, we just want to get moving. I think Josh didn't bo box, was it last May? It's last been a long yeah. time. We've got to get moving. That's six weeks away, straight away. And then, and then he's in, in the big time. I've seen a lot of rumours and noise that he doesn't want to fight this person. Believe me, the reason he's signing is because he wants those big fights and he wants to be recognised for when he achieves what he wants to achieve. And uh, I sense a massive year. Obviously, we had similar situations with Tasha Jonas and Savannah Marshall and even Chris Billum smith When they're coming over, it's a big risk to take. And you've got to be able to convince them that the trajectory of their career is going to completely change. And I really believe that even more so with Joshua Bowatsi. I think I honestly um, lost for words that we've got such a talented fighter that I believe can, uh, can take everything by storm and, and go on to achieve greatness. 
Joshua, you've obviously got a, a big following here in Croydon. Um, but I wanted to talk about your Joshua Buatsi Foundation. Um, not many people will probably know that, you know, you take a, a percentage of your purse and you send it back yeah. home. Tell us more about that. It's something that started as a lifestyle. Whenever I go back to Ghana, I'm in the hood. I'm ten toes with the boxers that have nothing. We have everything in this part of the world. So when I'm in Ghana, I see the boxers. They're not going to say, oh, we've seen Buatsi before. Here's a picture of him on Google. They'll be like, nah. Buatsi comes down here with us. Here's a picture of us and him. Here's him training with us. Here's him walking around in Ghana, bare-chested with us, eating with us. I'm ten toes, and I always believe that we have everything we want in this life, in this part of the world. So if I can give back any little thing that I can do to help them to make their lives better, I'm always happy to do that. Plus, the other aspect of it is we deal with orphans, people that have not seen their parents before, people that don't know who their mum or their dad is. If I can make a little provision for them to put a smile on their face, then that's good because I know who my mum and dad is. Most of us tend to know one or the other or both, but for them, they don't know the mum, the dad, they know nothing. So if I can make a little provision just to make them smile from the money that I make from boxing, then why not? I encourage everyone to get behind this, honestly. Um, looking ahead to May 6th, what are your, your training plans? Um, are, you, are you back in America? Are you here? What, what are the plans? I've been working very hard since I've been here. Honestly, I've been working very hard. And um, I aim to go back to the States maybe end of this week to carry on the hard work. But May the 6th is to put on a show um, to pick up from where I've left off. And like I say, I've got good rankings. So it's just to maneuver myself carefully and um, hopefully get a world title shot. I know this man pretty well. Ben is over the moon that you've signed with Boxer. Ben, long term, what are the plans for, jo uh, for Joshua Boazzi? Are we going straight to world titles as soon as possible? I think so. I think luckily we're in one of the greatest divisions in the world. There's huge opportunities at world level, huge opportunities at domestic level, massive fights to be made. And, and that's the thing with Josh, he, he, he wants these fights. He, he's coming to make these fights. Even, even when we were talking about him coming over, it was all about, this is the fight I want, this is the fight I want. He doesn't want to duck anyone. He wants the biggest test and he wants to be recognized for it. We can 100% deliver that. As he said, his rankings are second to none and he's going to get his opportunities. I'm just, uh, what we've got here as well is a role model. And uh, he wants his, to spread his message. That's very, very important to him. He wants to be able to spread goodwill, his message to people back in Ghana, to people in Croydon. It's very, very important. And when you feel like you're, you're not getting that, and when you feel like you're not achieving what you feel like your purpose is, inside and outside the ring, that's what we want to help him with. That's what we believe at Sky and, and Boxer we can help him with. And uh, yeah, I think the next 18 months, the next two years, the next three years, it's going to be very, very special. Joshua Buatti is back on Sky Sports. Do you have a message to the people at home, to, to all your, your cruiserweight, I mean, the, the light heavyweights oh. out there? Have you got, you're probably going to go out to cruiserweight at some point anyway, to be honest. Um, down the lens, anything to say to them? The message is simple. I'm back on a national TV where everyone ha has access to. Make sure you tune in, come and support. And the message again to the light heavyweight contenders, I'm here, I'm back. It's been, it's been a lot of time since I've been off. But I'm back now to keep active and, most importantly, get into big fights. Head over to boxer.com for your tickets. Thank you very much.